SJS at Ron Cone E Day Ain't a Computers dot com Otro Video Party Oi Another computer technology support related video. This one is gonna be a quick one. How do I log into my Zyxil router? The exact model they had was a A excuse me EMG twenty nine twenty six Q ten A so they needed to know how to log in to this Zyxel router. They just started, they want to log in to set up their lacrosse weather station. Well, <laughs> it's pretty simple. I will include a link in the description box of this YouTube video to my website inacompares.com so that you can read my blog post and I will include a link to the manual but I will also tell you really quickly what the login and password is the login is could be admin is the login or supervisor username supervisor or admin the password could be supervisor or one two three four supervisor admin the login password supervisor or 1234 in order to log in you have to type in 192.168.1.1 into a web browser window so you're going to hook up your laptop or your desktop computer possibly your tablet if it has an ethernet connection or even Wi-Fi you have to be on the same subnet if your computer or laptop IP address is 192.168.1.10 you're on the same subnet if your IP address for your laptop or desktop or tablet or whatever is 10.0.0.10 no you're on the wrong subnet you won't be able to log into your router a quick way to obtain to be able to log in is connect your laptop tablet desktop computer via Ethernet to the same to the Zyxel router DHCP should be configured and turn on as default your device will get an IP address on the same subnet you just type in 192.168.1.1 into a web browser window you should then see the login window and that's it here's a tip and then I'm gonna run here's a bonus tip whenever you log into a router with a default username and password usually it depends on the router a lot of these routers you can't change the username you can't change it however you can change the password this is my gold tip of this video change your password because I was able to easily find the login and the password for this specific Zyxel router the EMG it's a long one EMG fucking 2926 Q10A within seconds I found it if I'm able to find it within seconds that means that that username and password is on the internet easily accessible and it's possible that even remotely now most routers I think remote connection is disabled but you just never know you might fuck around with the settings you might turn it on and if you don't change the password anybody on the internet could potentially access your router and that's not even including security vulnerabilities that's not including bugs I'm not saying that this router has any security vulnerabilities that I'm aware of but as a security tip always change your router password as soon as you're able to log in with the default password if you're a beginner, if you're a newbie, you might not want to change the password right away because you want to just learn how to access a router. You want to, you're, you're not you may not be comfortable yet. Once you get comfortable logging into routers, it's not a big deal. You just have to have the right IP address and it has to be on the same subnet. You have to know the username and you have to know the password and that's it. So, but once you become comfortable, even as a newbie, even as somebody that's never logged into a router, then once you're comfortable change the password always change the password to routers 
because a high percentage of the time the default username and the default password are somewhere out on the internet. Adios.